Hey guys, Augie Johnson here, BallerBootCamp.com. I got a how-to video for you guys today. This is a basketball move that you guys should be adding to your game. This is the Jamal Crawford crossover. So I'm sure you guys have watched Jamal Crawford play uh, on TV or even live, hopefully. And you've seen that this double crossover that he uses is probably one of the most effective moves in all of the NBA. I mean, Jamal Crawford himself has one of the best crossovers in the NBA. So with this move added to your game, you're going to be able to actually use a move that an NBA player uses to score more points, get more assists, and make more plays for your team. So I'm going to go ahead and cut, and I'm going to break down the move, and then I'll go ahead and get into a live. Okay, so what makes this move so effective is the amount of space that you're able to get away from you and the defense. And that's really what offense is all about in being able to score the ball is creating space between you and the defender. So that puts the defender in a predicament where they either have to close that space or leave that space. And if they leave that space, then you're free to shoot. So that's what Jamal Crawford does a lot. Is he'll shoot out of this. So the, the, the main thing that makes this move effective is your first crossover. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys slow speed or slow what it looks like. Okay, so that's basically what the move looks like. And the reason that this move is effective, because this first crossover, you need to make this a hard crossover, okay? You have to make the defense think that you're gonna be attacking this way, but really you're just setting them up to create that space with the second crossover and take your jump shot. So basically this is a double behind the back cross, but it's not just a, a, a basic double behind the back. You're actually gonna create space with this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut right now, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like live. Okay, now I'm going to cut one more time and show you guys what it looks like from behind. Okay, so that's it for this move. Remember, your first crossover, you got to take that step. You got to give the illusion that you're actually going to go that direction so that defense steps in that direction. And then when you bring it all the way back around and create that space, you're going to be free to shoot. You're going to be open to drive. You're going to create a new lane for yourself to get to the basket. So all right, that's it for this week. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys share it with your friends. If you like it, click that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. New videos released every single Wednesday, no matter what. And head over to ballerbootcamp.com, okay? Head over there. I got a free workout for you guys today. It's a shooting, ball handling, and finishing workout. Tons of videos, download, downloadable PDF. So I'll see you guys over there, and I'll see you guys next week.